Hi, I'm your Minna Van Dyken MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain optimum health by adopting a whole foods, plant-based lifestyle. Let's talk about inulin. What is it? Have you ever heard of it? If you've been reading up on your microbiome and gut health, then you've probably heard of it. Otherwise, likely not. So what exactly is inulin and why on earth should you care? Inulin is a type of soluble fiber. It's found in many plants. It's been linked to several health benefits and it's even added to many foods. It can also be purchased in a supplement in health food stores and online. But here's the deal. What's really cool about inulin is that it's a prebiotic, meaning it's a food source for the good bacteria that live in your colon or large intestine. That means when you eat food containing inulin, it travels through your stomach, through your small intestine unchanged. So then when it reaches your large intestine, it's digested by your healthy gut bacteria and turned into short chain fatty acids. These are the molecules that nourish colon cells and ultimately provide health benefits. So long story short, it helps contribute to an overall healthy microbiome. Plants consuming inulin have been around for a very long time. Some plants contain only small amounts of inulin. Others are excellent sources. Foods that are highest in inulin are chicory root, garlic, onion, leeks, Jerusalem artichoke, dandelion greens, jicama, something called yacon root, or is it yacon root? Have you heard of chicory? The root is actually roasted and ground and it can be used just as you would use ground coffee. It's actually a delicious drink and it contains inulin. As a matter of fact, it's one of the highest inulin containing foods we know of. About 45% of the whole root is inulin. Additionally, chicory root helps increase bile production, which improves fat digestion. Lastly, chicory is full of antioxidants. So inulin can be purchased as a supplement too. This type of inulin is usually extracted from the chicory root. Sometimes the inulin is altered by adding or removing certain molecules to it. Let's take a few minutes to talk about eight health benefits of inulin. Number one, inulin improves digestive health. It does this by supporting the growth of beneficial gut bacteria. As we discuss at length ad nauseum here on Out of the Doldrums, having the right balance of bacteria is essential for keeping your gut healthy and protecting you from disease. Number two, inulin relieves constipation. Due to its chemical composition, when inulin is mixed with liquid, it forms this creamy gel and it's ideal for naturally relieving constipation. When in the gel state, inulin has a structure similar to lipids or fats, and this helps lubricate or oil the digestive tract and decreases the risk of developing other problems like hemorrhoids. But back to the constipation issue. One analysis found that people taking inulin experienced more frequent bowel movements and improved stool consistency. Another study looked primarily at older adults and found that those adults that were supplementing with 15 grams of inulin per day reported less constipation and better digestion. Number three, inulin promotes weight loss. Inulin may help regulate appetite in adults, thereby leading to weight loss. When overweight and obese adults took 21 grams of inulin per day, their hunger hormone levels decreased and their fullness hormone levels increased. That means they felt less hungry. Another study demonstrated that people taking inulin lost over two pounds, while the control group who just ate normal gained a pound. Number four, inulin helps control blood sugar in people with prediabetes and diabetes. Some people think this happens because inulin decreases fat in the livers of people with diabetes. Reducing fat in the liver can help reduce insulin resistance and potentially reverse type 2 diabetes. Number five, inulin supports heart health. Inulin has been shown to improve several markers for heart disease, including reduction of LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. Number six, inulin improves mineral absorption and bone health. Inulin has been shown to increase the absorption of calcium and magnesium, which improves bone mineralization. Number seven, inulin may prevent colon cancer. Studies find that inulin causes the colon environment to be less favorable for cancer development. We think this is because inulin actually ferments into a compound called butyrate, and we know butyrate protects colon cells. On to number eight, 
Inulin may help treat inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. There are several studies which demonstrate that inulin has a benefit against inflammatory bowel disease. So here's the question. Is inulin safe? Are there side effects? Well, inulin's been studied extensively. It appears to be safe. I would recommend starting with a very small dose and increasing slowly. An all or nothing approach does not make sense here. It makes you more likely to experience side effects. The most common side effects with inulin are flatulence or gas, bloating, abdominal discomfort, loose stools, and diarrhea. Most of these side effects improve the longer you stick with taking the inulin. So now, to the big question. Do we try to get our inulin from food or do we do it with a supplement? I bet you guys have no idea what I'm gonna say about that. Of course, we try to get it from real food. Work on eating those onions, garlic, asparagus, jicama. Learn to enjoy a hot chicory drink. Go out on a limb and try that yacon root or yacon root, not sure. If you have serious gut health issues or you have diabetes and you really wanna work on your blood sugar control, then it might be reasonable to explore supplementing with an inulin powder. You'd wanna start slowly, about two grams a day. Do that for a couple weeks, then increase your intake by two grams at a time till you reach somewhere between 10 and 30 grams a day. And it's a wrap. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys, so please comment with your thoughts, suggestions for videos, questions, whatever you want to bounce back at me, would love it. Let us know what health topics you guys want to learn more about in future videos. Until next time, aloha guys.